Brie Briarser, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to be unboxing my Peter Stone Art of the Horse submission. Now, if you don't know what Art of the Horse is, every single year, like kind of along with Equilosity, Peter Stone does this super cool event where they actually feature some of the hobbyists through a Art of the Horse contest. And they've got art, short film, and literature. And I entered the short film this year with a short film called The Brindled Bandit, which we will see in a second. How the contest works is that they pick three people from each category and then from those three of each category there's voting so it narrows it down to one from each category and from those last three there's voting again to pick who wins and who comes in third and this year I actually came in third with Pyro who you'll see in a second which I am hecka excited about thank you so much to everybody who voted that was super cool and it was just awesome to be able to see what everybody created this year now I actually got another horse from Art of the Horse called Nature's Goddess but I guess she's not done yet I don't know I haven't gotten a shipping notice from her but we have pyro and I'm so excited so I entered a short film for him to be based off of which was super fun so if you haven't seen that why don't we go ahead and check that out You try to play, but you're never gonna be me look the other way what I'm doing ain't easy I assure you that this brindled bandit does not exist. He's just some old mare's tale. The streets of San Palomino are perfectly safe. Have the guards who say they saw him screamed. <sighs> Thank you for your insight, Maya, but I was hired to investigate this mystery stallion and that is exactly what I intend to do. If any pony knows anything about the brindled bandit, please come to my office in City Hall. I will get to the bottom of why our artifacts keep disappearing. We had an artist sketch out what he looks like to help find him. The other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep move feet. Originally, I was gonna make like all new sets for that, but I ended up just using the tavern and like the little forest scene that I have because I was running out of time and I really just wanted to get it done. I will be turning the Brindle Bandit into a series once Castles and Cobbs is done because I thought it'd be a fun one. So without any further ado, y'all, let's crack them open. There actually still are pyros available on their website along with a bunch of the other Art of the Horse horses. So if you missed out, don't worry, you can still get one. I'll put the link in the description down below. So here is my receipt. We don't need that. Ah, he's gonna be in here. Oh my goodness. He's gonna be so cool. Alright, so right when you get him out of the box, this is what he looks like in his bubble wrap. So we've got the Brindle Bandit, aka Pyro. Pyro is his actual name, but they just call him the Brindle Bandit because nobody like actually knows. And then he is a limited edition of 30. And then he does come with this super cool little hang tag that says the Brindle Bandit. You'll get a close-up of all of this. Alright, let's open him. Here is his COA, which is super cool. It's got the logo for Art of the Horse this year, and my Brindle Bandit is actually the very first one to be produced, so he's one of 30. And then this says, Pyro is a unique model horse produced by the Peter Stone Company for Art of the Horse 2022 Myths and Legends. Pyro is a gorgeous chestnut brindle foundation quarter horse painted by Ellen Robbins, thank you, Ellen, based on the short film by me. We love to see it. Here we go. in person during Briarfest at Equilosity, but yo, he's so cute! They did such a good job! Part of his character is that he has a roached mane, which I thought was super cool, and then a very short little ratty tail because he actually gets his tail cut off by one of the guards. You know, his friends hold that over him. So he's got a little ratty tail, and to go with it, he's like, might as well just shave my hair, right? <laughs> We will get to learn more about Pyro in the Brindled Bandit series that will be coming after Castles and Cobbs is done. But y'all, <laughs> he's so pretty. Oh my goodness, the Brindle job on him is insane. Y'all need a close up of this snack 
So let's get to it. All right, before we get a close up of Pyro, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a close up of the little extras that came with him. So here is his little tag and his hang tag. And then on the other side, it does say the brindled bandit. I'm assuming that just goes around his neck, which is pretty cool. And then over here is his COA, which I happen to love the design that they did for this one. It's so cute. All right. On to Pyro. So we're gonna start out with just an overview of Pyro's color, which is so cool. I wanted him to be a chestnut brindle just because I thought that they were super pretty. That has fire related markings, which I think is amazing that Peter Stone kept his markings true to who he is. And that's why his name is Pyro is because all of his markings are like fire. We'll start out with a close up of his face. Now Pyro does have his forelock, which I really wanted him to have just because I thought he would look a little weird if he didn't have a forelock. He has some very deep detailed brown eyes and then a little fire looking snip. Look at the shading on him. Here's a good look at his roached mane which is so cute and you can see the shading from his brindling actually does go into his mane which is so cool. Here's a close look at that brindling in his coat which is so amazing. He is actually my very first brindle model which is so cool. Oh look at that booty. He's got some nice shading. Here's a look at his little ratty tail. Now, the foundation quarter horse that I have currently, who is King Arthur, who is, if I was King Arthur, where would I be? Where is King Arthur? I just reorganized, though you really can't tell where, hmm. There he is. So this is the normal foundation quarter horse with the flowing mane and the very long tail. And this is Pyro. You know what? Maybe I should put them side by side. All right. So here is King Arthur next to Pyro. Now Pyro actually has a little peg in his leg. He's like a pirate, which does make him taller. But you can see Pyro's factory customization from the roached mane opposed to the flowing regular mane and the little ratty tail opposed to the long flowing tail. Thank you, King Arthur. What a go bean. As we work our way down to his legs you can see that amazing shading as well as the fire inspired markings just look at those there's his little clear peg and then he does have two tall socks on the back legs which are so cute here is pyro head on and one thing about pyro is that when he wears his mask he does have a little fire emblem on the front of his mask so that he can have his little snip still showing through but i actually will be redesigning his costume the costume i used for the short film i used pepto boon small for it so i was just trying to hide the fact that it was him. <laughs> All right, as we move to Pyro's offside, he's not a paint or anything, so he does look very similar on this side. I literally cannot get over the coloring they gave him. It is so gorgeous, not gonna lie. I might just need to pick up a second one just so that I can have one for filming and one as a nice shelf model. Because y'all, look at this. This is so cool. A nice look at the shading on his booty, his little ratty tail, all those gorgeous leg markings. Look at that. And then lastly, we gotta get that booty shot. Look at that, mm, he's thick. He's thick with three Cs. Overall, I give Pyro an infinity out of 10, y'all. I am obsessed. Not only is it so cool to be able to have one of my characters brought to life as a Peter Stone, but the fact that they did such an amazing job. <laughs> I'm obsessed. So I'm um, BRB while I go buy the rest because he's so pretty. I am literally obsessed, y'all. Oh, this is so cool. If y'all didn't enter Art of the Horse this year, make sure that you enter it next year because it is literally so much fun and you never know who's gonna win. And it's so cool to be able to see the models that come out of everybody's work. There are three different categories to enter in. So if you don't think that you're good at drawing, you can also enter in short film or literature. Like there are so many things that you can do. People have entered short films, poems, short stories, cartoon art, realistic art, like the possibilities are absolutely endless and I highly recommend entering this contest if you want to next year because it is so much fun. All right y'all, so that's actually gonna be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and if you did, please go slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video and pyro a little bit of loaf. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I am super active on there. I don't have a post schedule at the current moment. We'll get there one day, right? <laughs> but I am super active on there, so if you want to shoot me a question on Instagram, I will get to you as soon as I possibly can. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload because at one point, the Brindle Bandit will be getting his own series and it's gonna be amazing. With super fun sets and costumes and this time I'm actually gonna cast people to voice act. 
for castles and cops i didn't cast anybody because i wasn't sure if i'd like have the commitment from myself but like i did so now i can cast people for the next one and other than that y'all i'll see you in my next youtube video bye Hello, I know. Leave him alone. Pyro! Hmm? I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan. Oh, thanks. You must have seen my short film. It was amazing. I've lived my life every single day since trying to be exactly like you. Run while you can. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm sure you'll love the series when it comes out. I've already started writing a fan fiction. Oh, that's nice. Can I read it to you? Oh, oh, um, I was actually supposed to help my mom bring in the groceries, so I gotta, I gotta go do that, so, no thank you. No worries, just come back and I'll read it to you. Loki, I made a new friend. Oh, I'm sure 